Yo, man, life has been crazy for me for the last, like, two years, man. And I know that's a cliche statement. Whose life isn't crazy at this point, you know? But I mean, I can definitely say from 2012 up till now, the, the shit that I've gone through, man, it's definitely been the most noteworthy phase in my entire life. Um, now, getting straight to the point, it's thanks to you guys who have just been sharing my videos, you know, um, keeping with me, you know, watching my stuff. It's thanks to you dudes, you know, and all the support that you've given me that's allowed me to have enough money at this point to potentially get my own place. It damn sure didn't happen overnight either. Um, a lot of you guys who remember me from, you know, months ago know that I was constantly moving from place to place over and over and you know it was somewhat of a frequent thing because you know a, a lot happened man since 2012 dude like there's been so much that's been going on with me man um in you know including at one point where I was the most settled in at one place it burned straight down to the fucking ground Welcome back. Today is the anniversary of a seven alarm fire that gutted a building in Prospect Lefferts Gardens. News 12 Brooklyn's Amanda Placentia spoke to tenants who gathered for a rally as they push for repairs so they can finally get back into their homes. It's been two years since a fire ripped through this building, but tenants are still without their homes. On July 26, a huge seven alarm fire destroyed this entire apartment building on New York Avenue. Today on the second anniversary of this fire, those who lived in this building gathered for a rally. Since the fire, it's been an emotional and financial roller coaster for many who lived here. Personal possessions were lost and apartments were completely gutted. Many of these people have been displaced and living in shelters with family members or in more expensive housing. We're told the blaze was all caused by a lightning strike on the roof and more than 100 people were affected. To make matters even worse, tenants say no real repairs have been made to the building they once called home. They are demanding that the landlord, Kings and Queens Holdings LLC, and Urban American Management repair and restore their homes. Here we are two years later still waiting for the landlord to do the right thing to restore our homes and allow us to go back in. There really hasn't been much done to aid us in our situations of finding new places to live or in the building being repaired. And you know, how many more years is it really going to take for us to have something done to help us out? These tenants say that they're trying to be patient, but after two years, they just want to return to their rent-stabilized homes. Reporting in Prospect Lefferts Gardens, Amanda Placencia, News 12 Brooklyn. Yeah, that was fucking fun. I was homeless for like I, I was homeless for a while, man. You know, it's not even funny. I mean, I can laugh at it now, you know, now that's, you know, that's been in the past, you know, like maybe a, like a little bit over a year ago, but you know, still, it's kind of crazy when I think about it, man. Like there was so much stuff going on with me at that point. But one thing I knew is that, you know, it, it was so many people at that time pressuring me, yo, stop doing YouTube, just get a job, blah, blah, blah. And you know, I knew what my passion was. I wasn't going to drop my passion for what anybody said. Even, even you know, it made sense maybe what these people were saying. You know, why, why are you going to rely on this? I relied on it because I knew that's where my balls were. So, because I have now this extra income now, because of, you know, all the growth that's been happening on this channel has been crazy lately. I'm putting it out there that I, I currently live out, um, so, well, a lot of you guys know this already, but I currently live in New York City and, um, as you guys know, the property value is pretty damn high here, so it's kind of tough to get your own place. So you need a lot bigger of a bulk of money than where you would in certain other places in the United States. And I know a majority of you don't live in the United States, much less New York City. So I understand that totally. And, it, you know, if you don't, don't feel like you have to be pressured to help me out because, you know, it's all right. But the, the thing I'm proposing is that I want... If you guys, if there are any of you that potentially live in New York City that know of a place that's, you know, renting out housing or things like that, then I would love it if you could inform me on it because you know I I, ha I think I have the a pro the appropriate money at this point and you know right now currently I'm rooming with four people in one room and you know these guys they they're amazing you know they they've given me so much support and it's thanks to them that I've been able to stay alive all these times because you know I ain't, I ain't had shit to eat for so many months and I would always come here. And you know, I would have food, and it, it, it's really, it's really appreciated. You know, these guys have really done a lot for me. But you know, it, at, at some point, it, it just will become more beneficial for me to do things at my own pace. You know, I have my own place and whatnot to be able to make videos at any time. 
And a lot of the time, I don't want to disturb these guys, you know? The main reason why I haven't really done the music reviews is because there's so many people now living in this one tiny space. I just don't want to disturb people like that. And you know, it would just be beneficial at the end of the day to get my own place. You know, that way they can be a central hub where I can start pushing things out, no problem, work on my own schedule and whatnot. It would really be beneficial for me. So that's why I'm putting this out to you guys. Now, I know there are going to be a lot of negative comments, a lot of criticism. Some people may be wondering, you know, exactly like, you know, how are you going to do this safely and whatnot? I, just, I mean, hey, hey, there, there's way, I have my ways, you know, like I can sense bullshit from a mile away. So, I mean, if there's, there's going to be people that troll me with this most likely, but I mean, I really don't care. I figure, you know, there's almost, there's, there's 49,000 of you guys out there, you know, and at least a couple thousand of you are going to see this video. I figure I have a better chance finding a place, let, letting you guys know who may potentially know something about it than, you know, not putting my chances out there at all. I figure I might as well, you know, I mean, you guys are pretty much what I've been spending the last year and a half cultivating, and I don't exactly have a job, you know, where I can talk at the water cooler and, you know, ex you know exchange information with people. I don't really go out that much because I'm, I'm home most of the time, so that's the main thing with um, me trying to find a place. So if you know anything, anything at all in New York City, it would help your boy out a lot, you know? I mean, you guys have already given me so much support as it is. You know, people from, you know, c contributing things like, you know, consoles to, to getting me this chair, it's really appreciated. And the support has been incredible. And, you know, I know this may be somewhat of an inconvenience. Some of you may be like, you know, this isn't your normal kind of video. Yeah, it's not, but you know, this isn't a gaming channel. <laughs> this is a lifestyles channel. <laughs> a lifestyles channel. <laughs> <laughs> but on a serious note though, thank you guys. I really do appreciate it. And even if you even if you don't know anything, even if you don't know any places renting or you, you can't, you know, I don't I'm not holding it against you if you know you don't any support that you show would be fine, you know. Just a simple good luck. And you know, that'll set me off straight. But I figure I might as well be realistic with you guys here, you know. I mean I'll have a better chance, you know, there's thousands of you and there's only one of me and I, I can't exactly split myself up to do many things at once, you know, I'm already trying to balance the YouTube thing as it is, trying to get everything in order and um, it would just be a lot easier on me if some of you guys, you know, knew certain things, you know, I mean, if you don't live in New York City, it's fine, but I mean, yeah, I'm just putting that out there, so, um, yeah, hopefully things work out, man. I mean, regardless, I'm going to try to see if I can move by November because by November, you know, I mean, I already have the, you know, I'm going to have some really good bulk money. So by November, I'm hoping I can make some moves. If not by November, then hopefully December. But, you know, either way, I want this to be something that happens soon. I'm about ready to move onward. And, you know, this place has been great, along with the multiple other places I've had. But it's finally time for me to take that step forward. And, you know, thanks to all that crazy support, I'm now enabled. So thank you guys once again. I really do appreciate it. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.